Hey guys, Kevin from Hard Luck Lodge. Uh, back again today. We're doing some product reviews today. Um, unfortunately, these aren't new product reviews. They're uh, a year on product reviews. My old channel had the, uh, the initial thoughts. There will be a new one later today, but uh, for the most part, this is a year on. And unfortunately, I don't have that video footage anymore where I can add into this. That computer died. I don't, that channel's closed. It is what it is. But today's reviews. Uh, Ronson uh, Jet Lighters. Pick this thing up. Take a good look at it. I don't know if you can see it. It's not the highest quality, but it's not bad. I think, I'm trying to remember where I got this. I think it might have been a TSC store, Tractor Supply. Uh, I know Walmart carries them and a few other places. It was cheap. Um, it wasn't American cheap, because I know you guys down south get these things for like $3 or less. Uh, it, it was like six fifty Canadian, not that much compared with a Zippo up here that would go for, well, I mean, no name Zippos are 15 bucks. Good quality Zippos are 25, 30 bucks, 20 bucks, 18 bucks, depending on where you go. You, and I'm not talking online where you can get them off of eBay. I'm talking about in a store. So this thing's, you know, it's been a year on just over a year. Um, got it, uh. Well, it might be even close to a year and a half. I got it August of 2015. And now we're in December, the beginning of December 2016. So this thing's been around for a while. Sorry about the light. I'm working with an iPhone 4. It's all I got. I'm trying to save some money, get some better equipment, get a tablet, get a computer, get, get all this stuff going. Things have been tough, but it is what it is. So nothing fancy. I mean, these things are, they're all over the internet. This one happens to be the, the ribbed version. Um... You know, it, it, well, it is what it is, right? Jet lighter, heavy click, nice blue flame, runs on butane, little electric igniter. Uh, I don't know if you can see it too well, but it has a little click. Basically, it is electronic ignition, but it's, um, it's kind of the style you would have on your barbecue, where it's a click light. There's no batteries or anything. Um, what I love about this lighter high wind this thing lights um had zippos still have zippos got a zippo i love u.s marine corps it was a gift from a friend uh just awesome awesome lighter but had problems with it uh went moose hunting seven years back six years back this particular trip i remember cold real cold um top end of a logging road middle of nowhere freezing you know an hour past sunup, watching the, you know, watching the cut. Need to light a fire with a, with a hunting buddy. Um, couldn't get the zippo to light. Holding it, you know, blowing into it, trying to heat it up, just wouldn't light. Just it's cold, doesn't want to go. Pardon me, my t-shirt's riding up again. Happens a lot with this particular t-shirt. Um, ended up getting a ended up getting a fire lit using, uh, believe it or not, my light my fire steel and my. Uh, my Leatherman Wave, uh, the best thing you can ever use, by the way, if you ever get one of those light my fire fire steels, um, even a mish metal one. The, a lot of guys will say, oh, you know, I use my serrated blade, I sharpen the back of my blade, whatever. If you got a Leatherman and you got a file on your Leatherman, flip that thing open and the part that looks, you know, you have your two sides plus the rib part on the bottom, which is almost like a hacksaw, run that thing down the edge of that, that uh, fire steel. Every time, every time, big sparks, lots of them. <clears throat> it's perfect for it. Uh, you can use the back of it too. It's got a 90 degree angle on it and never had a problem lighting anything. Uh, so, but anyways, back to the review. So I get back, uh, a couple of the guys in town I was talking to at the local store said, you want one of these jet lighters. Now it wasn't a Ronson. It was a no name plastic and rubber coated piece of junk. Actually, ironically, I paid $6.95 there for it. Got back in Princess Auto in Oshawa, Whitby area. Uh, they had the, uh, in, outside the GTA, they had the same lighter for $4. Ended up picking one up there too. Still got it in the truck. Keep it full. You know, it's a no-name. It looks like a Zippo that's been rubber-coated. Uh, ironically, works great. You know, it's got a little little thing on the back. You can put a cord on it. I sometimes, when I take it hunting, you know, duck hunting, because I can throw a paracord on it, put it around my neck. That was until I found this one. This thing 
is for the price probably some of the best money you can buy or best product you can buy for the price um, I ended up with my Zippo I ended up getting one of those Thunderbird inserts that burn butane I didn't go with the jet one for because for me a Zippo the, the it's about nostalgia the flame has to be the way it is I wanted something you flip it open you light it with the wheel you sit it there you know it is what it is so I picked it up great investment if you have a Zippo uh, some of the things I've done to it took the ball the rayon balls out of it put cotton balls in it you've always got tinder if you run out of fuel put an extra one in um, works works great still have that insert the Thunderbird butane insert is great you can fill it come back a year later it's still full of butane it doesn't evaporate and you don't have to fill it every week with lighter fluid like you do with a regular Zippo that being said you have to have butane you can get single jet double jet and then the standard lighter love it um, the only problem is I find every time I pull that Zippo out of my pocket somewhere to use it to light a, a campfire or to, to put some heat shrink on a wire or whatever everybody wants to touch it everybody wants to see it then you're looking for it because everybody tries to walk off with it and I'm not saying my friends are dishonest I'm just saying you know people are always wandering around playing with it and looking at it and you get you know oh well he had it and now he's got it and you got to run and get it a cheap lighter nobody ever wants a cheap lighter except for smokers they'll steal any lighter and you smokers know what I'm talking about because I've worked at a lot of bars and I've seen so many people arguing with their friends back and forth because hey you're lighter collectors hey don't give someone so your lighter to go outside for a smoke because you're not getting it back I know this so you guys can be angry but you know exactly what I'm talking about so picked one of these up like I say I'm pretty sure it was tractor supply it was cheap it was like I say it was like under seven dollars or seven dollars with, with tax came fully fueled ready to go that was the nicest thing full of fuel didn't have to fill it up literally put it in my pocket started using it this thing's great this flame as you can see quite tall and I'll show you how I got it that tall because they don't come that way um, in the bottom of this you'll see three kind of openings the one right here under the far end that's your butane filler just like that flip your butane can over top three seconds give it a break three seconds I do that three four times that usually fills it full the little tiny 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 screw just next to that is basically what holds this thing together or for the for the lack of a better word what holds the casing on and then you see a large flat blade or slot screw right let me get in right close on the camera that's your adjustment screw and that's the nice thing about this over the Zippo um, uh, Jet Lighter, Jet Blue Lighter, I think it is. I'm not sure of the, the particular model. But this one, I, I like it cranked up because I use it to heat shrink, uh, to shrink heat tubing on wiring when I'm working on the truck. Uh, I use it for a multitude of things. I use it to light the kerosene heater we've got running right now to, to warm the shop up. Um, propane soldering torch I have an automatic light one but I also have the ones that aren't and sometimes I, I happen to have that one with me flip that open light it turn the propane on it works great uh, biggest thing I love this for absolute best thing for this is when I go to the property um, you know you'll grab some some old birch bark off a fallen log or sometimes I bring dryer lint you want a good fire starter bring dryer lint um, paper towel newspaper multitude of different things you get you get everything set up ready to go you need a lighter you can play with matches on a windy day but you're not going to enjoy it it's going to be a pain in the butt you can play with a regular zippo sometimes it doesn't want to light even the butane one because it doesn't like the wind i know they say they're storm proof and wind proof sometimes you have a problem but these cheapy jet lighters they light every time even in high wind and with it cranked up like that you'll see the flame bend a little bit in the high wind but you're holding as long as you're holding this thing down you hit it it lights and because it's so intense and so fine I've actually believe it or not and I don't recommend it but it has been done I had to fix a trailer plug on a trailer didn't have any heat shrink tubing had to get the two pieces of wire back together that had broken we did have some very fine solder use this stripped it out twisted it together use this to heat it up dabbing solder very fine solder not the big plumbing solder 
the stuff you use for doing electrical work and electronics, dabbed it on there and soldered the wire and then wrapped it in tape. And that got us back on from a long trip, bringing the trailer back. So for the money, you know, say $7 Canadian, even if they've gone up under $10 Canadian, uh, three, four dollars US, depending on where you go, probably even cheaper on eBay because everything on eBay is cheaper. Uh, you can really get a good quality lighter, fairly heavy. I mean, when I say fairly heavy, I'm not saying it in a bad way. It's not cheap feeling tin. It's like when you pick it up, you know you've got something of quality in your hand. Uh, if you're a smoker, which I don't recommend, but have at it, works. Great for a guy who pipe, pipe smokes or pipe smokes, smokes a pipe because of the jet, you know, upside down, no problem. Um, highly recommend it. By the way, in case you're wondering, Ronson uh, was an old English English company from what I've, I've been led to believe. Um, the thing with these, Zippo makes them. Um, these are not numbered like the American made Zippos. Let's get that clear. Not American made. If you look real closely at the top, depending on how I can get the light, you'll see some writing there. It's not easy. I apologize. It says China. Yes, it is Chinese. Let's get that clear. That's why it's not $20, $25 Canadian like a Zippo, which is American made. And if you can get the older ones that used to be made in Niagara Falls, Canada, even better because we're Canadian. And like our American brothers, we like to support our country. And that's important. That being said, we don't just support Canada. We support North America because our American brothers are important too. By American, by Canadian. Keep it in-house if you can. Try not to buy the Chinese. Unfortunately, you are not going to get something this good for this price that isn't Chinese. That's just the way of the world. You want super high quality and you're willing to pay for it, you go get a Zippo. Great lighter. Have them. Nothing bad to say about it. Like I say, there are some intricacies with the wind and refilling and different inserts and all that stuff. But if you need a cheap lighter that you don't care if you lose it because you're out in the woods, you don't care if somebody, you know, you happen to be at the bar, you know, you're, you're hanging out with your buddies, you want to lay the smoke for a lady or a guy or whatever, somebody borrows it, it disappears, all right, you only out seven bucks. Is what it is. But seven bucks, well spent. Don't regret it. Wouldn't change my mind on it. Happily do it every time. Enough said. That's how it is. So I hope you like the review. Um, if it was bad, I'd let you know. I don't get paid for anything. Don't want to get paid for anything. That's why I'm doing this on an iPhone 4 and not an expensive camera because I'm not rich. Uh, hopefully I'll be getting a microphone soon so we can do further distance from the camera and we can do some more action stuff. Be able to take you out, set you up when I'm working on the truck. But to this point, this is where we're at. So I hope you like it. Hope you invest in it. It's worth the money. Good to keep in your pocket, especially if you're an outdoorsman. Never hurts to have an extra one. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please like. If you're not a subscriber and you like like to see more, they will be getting better. We'll be doing more stuff. Um, you know, please subscribe. If you don't, I understand completely. If you uh, if you want to leave a comment, uh, right now, unfortunately, I can't read too many of them because without a computer. But uh, please leave a comment if you've got an idea where you can I can improve it. Constructive criticism is always welcome. If you're one of those trolls, feel free to leave a, leave a comment because I don't really care. This is about me enjoying making videos. I'm hoping you enjoy what I do. If you don't, you don't have to watch. If you want to watch and you want to make stupid comments, eh, go ahead. It doesn't bother me. I'm a bigger man than you can ever imagine, as you can tell. And it doesn't bother me in the least. Have a great day. Have a great Christmas. Sorry the videos are a little sporadic right now. Uh, it's just hard to find time with the Christmas season and extra work and, and the winter layoff season coming in and snowplow season starting up. It just it is what it is. Hunting season was here. All of that, unfortunately, sometimes takes precedence. Hunting wasn't easy. No time to film. But I hope you have a great Christmas. If I don't see you, hey, you know, and if I do, keep an eye out. There will be some videos coming up. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, a review uh, later today, as a matter of fact, on the portable buddy heater that I just picked up. All right. Talk to you later. Have a good day.